Hello, I'm Professor Lorgosek from Sorbonne University, Paris, France. On behalf of my co-authors, I'm pleased to present the primary outcomes at week 16 from the foremost randomized controlled trial, which examined the treatment of early oligoarticular psoriatic arthritis with a premolast. Oligoarticular psoriatic arthritis is prevalent in clinical practice and can significantly impact a patient's quality of life, despite relatively limited joint involvement. Published clinical trials have generally enrolled patients with at least three swollen joints and at least three tender joints, with the actual mean active joint counts being much higher. The foremost study evaluated the efficacy of a premolast in patients with early oligoarticular psoriatic arthritis. In this phase four randomized double-blind placebo-controlled study, patients with active psoriatic arthritis of duration under five years with joint involvement limited to two to four tender and two to four swollen joints and limited treatment history were included. Eligible patients were randomized two to one to receive either a Premolas 30 milligram or placebo twice daily for 24 weeks. The primary endpoint of minimal disease activity joints, MDA joints, was assessed at week 16. Baseline demographic and clinical characteristics were generally comparable between treatment groups, although there was a slight imbalance in the percentage of female patients. Of 308 randomized patients, mean age was 50.9 years, mean PSA duration was 9.9 .9 months, and close to 90% of patients had a maximum of four active joints at baseline. Overall, the majority of foremost patients had short disease duration and limited joint involvement. The primary endpoint, MDA joints, MDA necessitating joint response, based on sentinel joints, the joints involved at baseline, was achieved by significantly more patients with a Premolas versus placebo at week 16, 33.9% versus 16.0% respectively. When outcomes were evaluated based on all joints, MDA joints response at week 16 was seen in 21.3% versus 7.9% for a Premolas versus placebo. A significantly greater proportion of patients treated with a Premolas achieved CDAPSA remission or low disease activity when compared with placebo at week 16. Of note, a similar effect was seen in patients who did not have remission or low disease activity at baseline. Significantly more patients achieved a PSA-12 score of 4 or lower with a Premolast compared with placebo at week 16. This score is considered a patient-acceptable symptom state. More patients in the placebo group compared with the Premolast group progressed from a baseline total active joint count of 4 or fewer to greater than 4 by week 16, with a separation between the two groups first observed in the week 12 study visit. No new safety signals were identified through week 24. In conclusion, the primary results of the foremost trial showed better disease control with a Premolast in patients with early oligoarticular psoriatic arthritis with no new safety signals identified. A Premolast treatment resulted in greater improvement across several clinical and patient-reported outcomes. Foremost is unique as a global randomized controlled trial exclusively studying early oligoarticular psoriatic arthritis. Outcomes from this study may inform appropriate disease management in patients with oligoarticular psoriatic arthritis, though further studies are needed for validation.